pears are great because what they do, they stimulate the, the intestinal wall to keep you regulated. Pears, when you extract the juice from them, and your body extracts the juice when you eat the pear too, of course. Uh, that's what digestion's all about. Your, your, your digestive tract is a juice machine in essence, whether you know it or not. It's very difficult to juice a soft pear. Try not to use soft pears. If, if, if they have a lot of give to them, don't buy them. Those are great for consuming edibly, but not so good for making juices. You need a firm pear or a firm peach because they will make the best juices. Watch how simple this is. See how thick and creamy that is? And if that was a soft pear, and don't be alarmed if it happens, when you're doing a soft pear, sometimes it all backs up in here. So what I like to do when I make do pear into juice, I do a few pieces of pear and then I do some apple. The apple juice being thinner will wash that soft pear juice out into your glass or cup. I'm a great one in the winter of pear and apple together. It's a great combination. And what it does, it stimulates the intestinal wall and keeps you regulated. A lot of times I used to go to old folks homes and uh, I would always use that apple pear as a pinpoint for teaching them how to be regular. Because a lot of people have trouble moving the bowels and when you when you don't move the bowels, there's a sickly condition going to happen very shortly. But this is your apple pear, sensational drink. And I like to, see see how the, the pear coagulates a little bit? So when you do, you just kind of rattle it around there with a fork or a knife or whatever. And there's a great drink, apple pear. Stimulates the peristaltic wave of 22 beats a minute. You see, you can't beat that.